Well then, I suppose I don't actually have too much setup to do today, so I may as well start a bit early. Hello, Lucy. Good to see you around. Uh, I have um, no idea what I really want to play today, is the main thing right now. Because I've been playing a whole bunch of Hades, and I feel like that's uh, a bit over the top to continue playing it. Hello, Lucy. Uh, glad you showed up very early as well. Mm, what was I saying? Yes. Don't know how to play. Octopath isn't today. That's going to be during the weekend slot. I could do some more Dauntless, I suppose. Or Darkest Dungeon. I've not played that in a while, but uh, I don't know. I'm not really in the mood for DD. Let's see. What else do I have downloaded right now? Could play some Risk of Rain. That's not something I've streamed before. Could be interesting. Hmm. Monster Hunter? I do have World downloaded, although I'm still fairly early game. Not too much interesting to do there. <laughs> I think I'll play some Dauntless. Yes, as I um, alluded to in my earlier tweet, I am an hour late for this stream because I wanted to watch Ina's outfit reveal. Very nice. I'm glad um, Kuroboshi has um, not followed his pattern. Um, it's mainly because I can look at my own face while I'm talking, which means that I'm aware of when I'm being too stationary and, you know, various other things that are happening. Because uh, I'm looking directly at myself, so I can see the immediate instant I move and it follows what I'm doing. Um, because if I'm looking at my stream playback, it's uh, if only a couple seconds delayed, but it's still not immediate feedback. Um, yeah, it's just a bit easier for me. It reminds me to open my mouth wider when I'm talking, but I don't do this whenever I'm speaking, and my mouth barely moves. Uh, and I, I can think to move my head back and forth, and also to look down, because... If I look straight forwards, a lot of the time my eyes tend to, uh, freak out. Because I have very reflective glasses. That don't like to play nice with my webcam. Hmm. I do wish I could wear contacts. I've tried. I've tried to wear contacts before, they just don't agree with me. I think I spent... Hmm. Okay, enjoy your drive home then, Lucy. Yes, I, I, I'm trying to remember how long exactly it was, but I tried to spend like 10 minutes around that, putting in a single contact lens, and uh, I just could not get myself to touch my finger to my eye. It was, uh, it was a harrowing experience, and uh, not something that I plan on repeating anytime soon. But it looks like Dauntless is in the process of launching, so I can change the title to I figured out that I'm going to play Dauntless. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Oh, this is going to be difficult to type. It's all the way off to the side. I can't actually edit it on my main computer, so I'm going to have to turn to the side and go silent and still as I type in the, uh, new name of the stream. Uh, just changing the category. Uh, the, uh, the sound's probably mixing with my background music in a, uh, not appealing way. I'd have to guess. Overlapping music doesn't typically play well. Although the 
music isn't very loud and dauntless, at least not at this point. It's just sort of, um... Sound effects? Yeah, there's no music playing right now. It takes quite a while to launch as well. I wonder why that is. <clears throat> oh. Hmm. Oh, I've not actually done a lot of the, um, setup that I normally do before streams. Alright. I need to capture the right game. Hmm. Alright. Now is not the time to be fussy with me. Here we are. Right, I don't know how long I'm going to be going as well. Mm. What was it? Right, I'm I'm actually kind of sleepy. I um, what was it? I was up until around two thirty last night. Not because I was doing anything, but just because I couldn't get to sleep. It was a bit of a hassle. Um. But then after that, I had to wake up uh, around, I think I woke up at 7.30 because I had to be up by 8 for a uh, online call that I had to take, so. Ran into some issues there, so I only have around five and a half hours sleep, four hours sleep, something in that ballpark. And I, when I was watching um, Ina's outfit reveal, which I'll probably talk about later once I get a few more people actively in chat so that I'm not talking about the one exciting thing I did and then I'll have nothing else to say or I'll have to repeat it ad nauseum. Hmm. I suppose I can actually talk about some of the other things I did today. Um, specifically, uh, today is the one day I decided that I wasn't going to cook for myself, and I decided to um, order some food. I went and picked it up myself. I'm not a monster who gets food delivered right to their door. And I was in the area anyways, because I had to, uh, leave my house for a little bit today. So. Uh, didn't get anything too fancy. What was it? Garlic bread and a, um... What's it called? It's one of those things that you can get at pizza places. That's not pizza. It's like the sandwich... It's like pizza, but a sandwich. I don't remember what it's called. Also, game's running very slowly right now. Possibly because I haven't, um... Christ, uh... No, I, I'm... I'm afraid I wasn't at the bottom of the ocean, Alistair. Um... What are they called, though? It's, it's the long sandwiches. That aren't... Really, sandwiches? Because they're now... Calzones are fully enclosed. It's the other things that you can get at pizza places. They're not subways, because those are from Subway. They are... something else. I'm just gonna drop the quality scale down. Up until I... Yeah, that's fine. I can play it 720p. Alright. Uh, what are they called? This is really bothering me right now. Not a sub, it is a... I'm just gonna keep repeating that expression until it comes to mind. Ba -ba -ba. It had sausage in it, I remember that much. Oh. My poor brain. 
Also, why is my headset making such a strange noise? Sounds like a constant ticking. I don't know if that's in-game or if it's coming through. Okay, now it's gone. Peculiar. Alright, what do I actually have to do? Venus survey. Nezaga and Karbak. Okay, so those are still up, but I'm not strong enough to do those. Those are all of my minor ones. Aether Heart. I still haven't figured out how to get Aether Hearts. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm just looking at the uh, challenges right now. 5k core damage to behemoths using a lantern. My lanterns don't do damage, though. That's definitely not something I can do. Alright. Uh, there's a little question mark over here. Am I already doing your quest, Ark and Drew? Or is this new? Oh, jeez. Alright, no need to rush on my behalf. Always seek ways to improve your Slay a primal behemoth. Okay. Clear of the dark cloud, primal. Huh. There you and are. what do you want from me? Rare fractal hide from a Valomir. Farewell, Slayer. I think I tried fighting Valomir once, if it's the one that I'm thinking of. Uh, it did not go well. I died many, many times. Alright, let's just check the hunting grounds and see where the quests are at. Oh, well, there's two here. Hmm. I can go after the Nezaga, I just don't see it going well. And Karhabach. Those are weak to lightning weapons, I'm fairly certain. Okay, so I'm definitely meant to go after Nezaga first in that case. I'm probably at the point in the game where it's screaming at me, team up with other players, you idiot. But I really don't want to. I much prefer hunting alone. Hmm. But I already have a Nezago weapon. Because I played this before, and for some reason I was better back in the day. Alright, well. Since I have a Nezago weapon, that means... Oh, I don't have any Nezago armor, though. Or wait, no. On something that's strong against leaf type. So Scarn would be what I'm going for. Hmm. Is Scarn my best option? I think it might be, actually. Yeah. Alright, Scarn it is then. I just wish there was, um. Mm. I don't know. It just feels like everything is so straightforward when it comes to um, how you equip yourself. Oh, no, because I'm not going to be breaking any behemoth parts. Um, what am I going to be fighting right now? A stone... No, a grass-type enemy. All right. I think I'm going to want Fortress. Fortress shells typically never do me wrong. Fortress. But what other stuff? Portion of any shield applied. I'm not fighting with allies. Defense at low health. I'd prefer not to be at low health. Later ranks grants life steal. Ooh. Well. I don't think this is at later rank. I think this is at lowest rank. So, not yet. Protects been shocked. I'm not going to be shocked. I'm going to be fighting Earth type. Have damage. Okay. I don't think that's very good at low levels. So, I'm just going to leave it. 
going to get a small portion of damage. Okay. I think all it takes a parasitic cell. If I don't find anything else. Prevents being staggered, increases max health. Alright. I think I'll put two parasitic cells on. That seems like a... Uh... Oh, I only had the one. Never mind. I just sort of assumed that I had multiples. Alright. Well then, two tough cells it is. All the way down. Tough cell. That's a tough cell, hmm. Okay. Wound damage, I think. I think I want wound damage with this weapon. Since spears are specifically designed to inflict wounds. But I don't want to decrease part damage. Especially not when I'm fighting by myself. Hmm. I'll go with that one. I'll wound things anyways. And then... Store some health whenever a behemoth part is wounded. Yeah, why not? A little bit of vampirism never hurt anyone. Alright. Also... Let's see... I'm probably going to want some of this. I've got plenty. Blitz tonic? Oh, these all scare me. Alright, that's fine. I've got tons of this stuff. I'll try. I also sort of want to, um, color the armor. Looks kind of... Well, I mean, it looks as good as it can look, by default. But I'd like a bit more yellows in here, because it's going to be lightning-themed. Let's see, the gray can turn... Yeah, now I look like Goku. Maybe that's not the best option. Yeah, it's pretty hard to, um, make this top part look like anything other than, I don't know, crazy? Oh, maybe I can actually do sort of like a purple crystal sort of look. It looked pretty good when it was, um, was it Dom Dominion? So perhaps I'll uh, turn all this stone into Dominion. Nice. Oh. Ah, oh, right. Right, where is... No, it was down here, right? There we go. Dominion. Oh, oh I didn't hit apply, that's why. That's all I'm going to do for now. Just the, uh... Dominion die. I can see about changing other things later, but, uh, nobody wants to watch the scintillatingly high-detail decoration scene. Although it is also early stream, so if there's any time to do it, it's probably now. Apologies, Alistair, if you're still here, but, uh... It's time to get dying. Let's see, I'm going to change this on the chest so that I can get the best view as to what the changes are going to look like. No, not, not that. The green one. Mirage? Obscura? Hmm. The shiny black does look pretty good. Let's see, I wonder if there's a more earth tone. Ground break, yes. I like that one. Alright, and what's this? Oh, the cape. Hmm. What do I do with the cape, though? Walnut?
I think Lagoon looks pretty good. Hello there, Aaron. That took a little while to uh, kick into effect. Yes, I am currently oop, making myself look pretty. Uh, and then I'm going to go hunting. Hmm. I think Revenant is good for the cape. I'm doing well. I'm a bit tired, so... We'll see how long I can go. But other than that... All's well. Oh, I don't remember what the, uh... What is it? Groundbreak. That's it. Now, where is the... I don't see what that one's changing. I'll leave it as is. Uh, don't... I'm, I'm not about to collapse. But, uh... I don't know that I'll go for too long today. I'm not going to end early, but, uh... Definitely don't expect it to go... Longer than two hours. And I'm also about to take on an enemy that may uh, kill me very easily. That's Revenant, right? Well, oh, it is now. Alright, there we are. Into the hunting grounds. Right, right. I wanted to fight this one, right? As this one has car here back. Hmm, but now my weapon is too low of a level. Alright. Let's do a bit of low level farming. What do I fight though? Maybe Spore Struck Charog in an earlier level? I don't want to fight Skarn. Skarn's too easy at this point. Uh, right. I just want to go somewhere that's rated as being hard. Alright, you know what? I'll go to Alaric and fight Ragetail Nasher and Shrike. Shouldn't be too hard. I can level up this uh, style of weapon. And also, I suppose, fighting the primary target is uh, probably a bit too much to ask, given that I'm just going into this now. Mm. Yeah. I suppose this is also a, um opportunity to talk about the uh, outfit reveal that I was watching. Hmm. Yes, the uh, the reason that I was late today was Nino Mai Inanis's outfit reveal. I'm using the uh, spear type weapon, the one on the right here. Um, yes, yeah, so I was watching Ina's outfit reveal. Uh, very nice, very simple, uh, and it very fortunately avoided one of Kudoboshi's. Um, I'd definitely call it a shortcoming. Um, it's more of a stylistic thing that I don't care for. Uh, yeah, that's a VTuber. So, uh, I'm an independent VTuber. Um, which means I'm not affiliated with any companies. Uh, however, there do exist um, corporate VTubers. Um, and the the most well-known group is Hololive, uh, and Ninomai Inanis is a Hololive VTuber. She is my favorite VTuber uh, out of all of them. Let's see. Um, let's 
Sophie. She's been streaming for a bit over six months at this point. Uh, nearing seven, I think. Um... I'm really feeling it. Dodging. Alright. Yeah, um... Oh, there's so much to say on the topic, though, as well. Yeah, I actually really look up to, uh, Ina. She is the prime reason that I started VTubing in the first place. We have very similar personalities, I find, and, uh... I thought that, um... The way I am wouldn't be particularly interesting, but seeing how well Ina does, uh, it's a big sort of inspiration to uh, how I do things. She's also the reason that I started drawing as well. Alright, I actually also like this weapon a lot. Switching topics abruptly. Because the dodge is so good. This weapon, unlike many of the others, has a completely unique dodge. Where instead of rolling, you actually do a sort of flip like that. And it covers a lot more ground. And it happens a lot quicker. It's just easier to uh, use in general. Oh, Pyromancer, hello. Ow. Yeah, I suppose you could consider that. Alright, come on, Shrike, do something. Okay. I thought I was going to uh, use one of its actual strong attacks. Here we go. Alright, one for one. Whew, that was a close call. It's just really nice being able to do that. Oop, broke its face, I'm pretty sure, yep. back here, you. Oh. Big pulse. Oh. oh. Yeah, back on the uh, topic of Ina. Um, I had definitely wanted to... Yes, big angry. I definitely wanted to start doing something like this, uh, streaming or just general YouTube for a long time, but I hadn't really had the, uh... motivation to do it. Uh, mainly because I just didn't think I would be very good at it, or... I don't know. This wouldn't be too interesting, I suppose. Uh, but since Ina and I have such... Not really passion. Ooh. Although I do find that I have a lot of difficulty striking up passion for a lot of things. I think that's more of a secondary problem to... Uh, where my mind was at. I don't know how to explain it so well. 
Yeah, just seeing an example of someone that was so similar to me being as successful as Ina is was generally just sort of the impetus that led me towards trying it out myself. Ow. Oh, okay. I was not expecting that one to come straight out. Alright, and it's a third one now? You really are very bad about giving me free openings to just wail on you, aren't you? Pop. Ah. So I just land on the island again, right? Okay, good. Just got blown off by my own backdraft. All of the weapons in this game are pretty crazy. Oh. And just shot it to death. Alright. Yeah, right now I'm just, um, re-familiarizing myself with this style of weapon. So that I can go hunt stronger foes. Yeah. I wasn't expecting to get a, uh... What was that? A shot finish? I suppose it is the... Highest single damaging attack. Um, but now I want to go find that, what is it, Rage Tail Nasher? Because that is an enemy of the same difficulty rating. Because Shrike is two star. And the Rage Tail is three star. And my current target is a three star enemy. So I'd prefer to be fighting something that's of comparative difficulty. Oh, what was that? Oh, it was just snails popping out of the ground. Ooh. You know what I actually need to stop doing is looking over to the side to see what's playing? That's another shrike. Not interested. Hmm. Oh, okay. That shrike it's gonna have to be. Because I'm definitely not fighting a Drask with a lightning weapon, and those things are just annoying. So, uh... Time for shrike fight number two. Hmm. Because I want to be surprised whether or not it's going to be, um... What are the options? Basil juice or basil juice plus? Because if I look over to the side, I will immediately see which one it is. Instead of figuring out if I hear basil juice screams or not. Uh, uh. I'd say that's a fair trade. Please come in. Oh, BTW Viper X3. Welcome. I'm doing well. Just doing some uh, warm up hunts right now. I'm assuming you're coming here uh, from the game. Because that's where a lot of new viewers when I play this tend to come from. So I'll just, uh. Yeah. I tend to prefer solo hunting. It's, uh... I don't know. I, I play... One of, one of the things that I do is I also play Dark Souls a lot. Not on stream. Uh, it's just a game that I particularly like. Uh, and I'm very used to, um... Issuing allies for the sake of fighting things by yourself. It's just how I like to do things. Yeah, Dark Souls. Are you unfamiliar with Dark Souls, Aaron? Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm one of those get good style people. Um, I suppose I can explain Dark Souls then, Aaron, if you're unfamiliar with the franchise. 
Um, let's see, it's technically a three-game series, although you could go as high as five if you want to count some of the other titles that From Software puts out. Uh, like Demon's Souls or Bloodborne. Um, oh. So you have played. I'm a pretty good Dark Souls player myself. just so easy to stop you from doing that. You'd think you would have learned by now. I'm definitely not someone who goes hard into Dark Souls. I just like it. So, for instance, I don't, um... <laughs> a bit extreme, but, uh... Pretty understandable, I suppose. I'm not someone who goes into a uh, new game plus for Dark Souls. Oh, I, uh, I thought you had a bit more health in you. But I do play my first campaign all the way through. Um, what is it? I'm I'm the type of person that will go through making sure that I. I've found all of the uh, collectibles in the game, done all of the side quests, all of that good stuff. Yeah, that was a lot faster. I think I'm uh, probably getting used to that. Also, why is the Shrike already visible? What is that? Is that... I think there's a special sort of event on each map. So I'm assuming that there's some sort of Shrike event on this map. No, I don't want to fight Boreas. Boreas isn't the right elemental affinity for me to fight anyways. Yes, it is. Some sort of Shrike event. I'm guessing it's going to be two Shrike at once. See how many owls I can kill. And I haven't actually used a single health potion either. Yep. Shrike strike. <laughs> yes. What? That's going to be a load of shrike. It's gonna be I don't know, a strike of them. Can't imagine that an island event would just be a single shrike. Make it a bit challenging for me, hmm? Oh! Okay. These things. Those are the... What is it? The little helpers for the Boreas. Ooh! You have... A little bit of color to you. Are you an elemental variant? Alright, alright. Or is the difficulty in all of these? Oh, you stagger just as well as the other ones. It's also very lucky that uh, the heavy attack on this hits so many things at once. Because, uh, I can basically just ignore those little annoyances. Oh, yeah. Alright. <laughs> I've already gotten him down a quarter of health. I thought this was supposed to be a difficult event. It seems to be moving slower. No, 
No gaining health. That's cheating. Only I get to do that. A bit too fast. Alright. I'm a bit worried about what it's going to start doing when it enrages. As I imagine, once that happens, is when the real tricky stuff starts to come. Unless it's just... Unless the difficulty is supposed to be these things. Uh, which have, so far, posed no more threat than flies. Okay. That was easier than a normal Shrike fight. I'm just gonna say that now. Unless there's more. Is there more? Oh, there's more. Looks like it's two at once now. Alright, there we go. Finally. A good fight. Although, I think they've actually reduced their health and movement speed to compensate for the fact that there's two of them. Which means that I do enough damage that these things get staggered very easily. It's just... Oh. <clears throat> Accidentally shot that fly into the stratosphere. My sword. And no to them. And no to life. I'll live it. Way to work. Ooh. I actually just did some very neat looking acrobatics there where I backflipped over top of one of those little things. Bonk. I like the sound this weapon makes when you reload it. Alright, that's one down, one to go. I wonder if there's going to be another round with a oh, third one. Alright, afraid I don't have alert command, but uh, I'll take that into account. Alright, fly with me. I should probably implement alert command. It's fairly universal. Wound, wound. Yeah, I've actually realized that, um... What is it? The left-click attack, which doesn't build meter very much, uh... generates a lot of wound damage. And this one deals stun damage, but not a lot of wound. So it's good to, uh, strike unwounded parts with the basic attack. Alright, any more shrikes? Or is this just going to be easy fight? Alright, I think... Oh, okay. Two more? Just two. I'm gonna make this more difficult for me. Ooh, but these look like they're the normal difficulty. And they also look a bit larger, just physically. Alright. 
looks like I'm finally going to get a challenge. Let's get rid of that weak charge that I put in. Oh, they can hit each other. That's useful. Ow. But they can still hit me as well. Why am I shocked? These aren't lightning attributes. There's lightning and normal attribute enemies right now. Right. Ooh. They move as one. I guess they hit these as well. As I just heard them pop like a bunch of balloons. Oh, come on. I only have to be a little bit careful when fighting you. Ooh. The big threat comes from the fact that they obscure my view. Ooh. That's annoying. I don't have time to get my shot off. Alright, but I am at this point far away from the other Shrike, so... I feel like it's not... Ooh. What did you do that for? I wasn't anywhere near you. Come on. I think I am giving them time to heal, unfortunately. Alright. Maybe my boasting is coming back in my face. It's going to be very difficult to take advantage of that. Uh, okay. Oh, that shouldn't be how that works. Hmm. Oh no. What a chaos going on right now. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. Right. I'm in danger. I'm in a bit of danger right now. to be a bit less laissez-faire with my stamina. Because I need to dodge a lot more frequently. I can't just be firing off strong attacks like it's no one's business. to be a bit more conscientious. These little puffball enemies. I get that they can act like bombs and deal a sizable amount of damage to the enemy. Oh. Don't you two start healing. Oh, 
Glad that charge missed me. Oh. Yeah. This game was definitely only meant to be played versus one monster at a time. Because having two just makes so much chaos. A lot harder to hit the uh, stagger attacks as well. Also, they just keep running over here and healing. And they also just have completely unprompted ability to how apply random status effects that strikes shouldn't be able to apply that... I can't even get them down quarter health and they keep running back here to heal I wonder if I empty it out myself if they won't be able to heal. Because that seems like... poorly thought out. I think I just need to start using this as pure damage. I'm not going to be getting interrupts with those. Not when there's two of them. Alright. You can't have infinite healing, right? They need to be limited in this. I didn't even knock him out of it. Come on, come on. This is not going well. Alright, I think I'm probably just going to have to run away. This went from blindingly easy in the first two encounters to nearly impossible in this one. It doesn't make s sense that it would be unlimited for enemies is the thing. Because if it is, then you'll never be able to win. It's not even a battle of attrition at that point. Actually dodged out of the way of my attack. What a smart bird. Oof, okay. Well, off the cliff I go. I think I might just have to run away from this encounter. Is I've not seen a single quarter of their health bars disappear. Either one of them. And if I can't even get that done, then it seems unlikely that I'd be able to get all eight quarters of both combined health bars. I don't even think I've wounded a part. Ooh. 
Oh, there's a single quarter. Alright, I want to be focusing on... I wish they had something visually differentiating them. Wow, they hit each other. Oh, that was so useful. Oh, no, not again. <sighs> Pop. Yeah, it seems like, um... Oh, what was I going to say? They can actually stun each other. Hmm, very angry. Okay, looks like they're actually in the process of running away because this battle has taken too long. Oh, which I, I don't mind. Please get them off of this island. I went from not taking any damage versus strikes to not being able to damage strikes. What a turnaround. Now that's character development. Ow. Alright. I'm just gonna run away for the next few seconds. I'll be on my feet when they leave. Alright. Are you escaping yet? Please run away. Fear me. Okay, there they go. Oh. Well, those first two phases were pretty fun. But, uh... Everything after that was very painful. All right. Time to go back to Ramsgate. I don't know if that proved anything, but uh, I could potentially be in a position to hunt my proper target now. But there's always a chance that it turns me into little ground up bits of mince meat. Hmm, hydrate. Uh, now's actually a pretty good time. I need to refill my water. I didn't actually do that pre-stream. So I'm going to go to intermission and refill my water.
All right. I uh, took the chance to hydrate as I was coming back to stream, so... Drink has happened. Oh, also... Bounties. These are probably earning me some sort of resource, but I'm not entirely sure what. Hmm. Well, I am pretty good at getting interrupts. And I am using the war pike right now. Out of bounty tokens. Ah. I see. Should probably go do that then. Toss a coin to the fountain. And get more bounty points. Alright, and I did also get some cores as well. Money, patrol keys, combat merits, aether sparks, whatever those are. Hmm. Let's see. Chips, wild frenzy, attack speed, damage against wounds, damage against enraged, attack against shock, attack against fire. Attacks get stronger after dodging. Destruction. Mm hmm. Okay. And those are my cores for the day. And so. Little triangle. Ooh. Into the. Fire? And the flames I carry on. Okay. And it's Arbok that I'm going after. Whew. I don't know about this one. This has the chance to turn out fairly poorly. I'm not actually entirely certain I've been to this island, either. Have I? No, I don't think I have. Hmm. Well, that's pretty exciting in its own right. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just, uh gonna go back onto the topic of I guess VTubing as a whole. But I think it's very strange the dynamic between independent VTubers and corporate VTubers. Because it it's just seemed that ever since I became an independent VTuber that it's sort of Almost a faux pas to talk about the corporate VTubers. Even though they're the entire reason that I'm here in the first place. This seems a bit peculiar. I know not everyone became a VTuber because of you know, inspiration from the corporate side. Well, that's why I'm here. It just feels... almost disingenuous for me to not talk about corporate VTubers. Specifically Hololive. I don't watch too many Niji Sanji VTubers. In fact, the only Niji Sanji VTuber that I actually watch is... Uh, Hanamakia. Oh, it's the little... roly-poly pigs. Little commission wow. chest here. What? <laughs> oh. Yeah. I 
I didn't really have any, um... Oh, I think that might be what I'm looking for, because it looks weird and unlike anything I've seen before. Ooh, yep, it's a big old bug. All right, well... No more time for... Oh, God, I don't like this thing. I'm not taking damage by being here, am I? Hmm. Right. I haven't seen this thing's attack patterns yet. Come on. Where's your stunnable? Also, it moves very quickly. Ooh. I like that visual effect. Attacks very quickly. Oh, okay. Okay, there it is. That's its interruptible. Moves very fast, though. So I'm probably not going to get that with a heavy attack. It'll have to be a projectile. Ow. All right, it seems to be a little bit stunned after it does that attack. Good chance for me to uh, get some heavy hits in. Oh, okay. I'll be able to tell what direction is forward eventually. All right, and second one. There we go. Let's wound that face. And then lay into it with heavy attacks. I'm learning. Ooh, and a paralysis as well. Wound its arm. Ooh. All right. Predator. That's unique. Or at the very least, it's different. I'm coming back. Oh, no. Just the once. Just the once. Very nice visual effect, though, when it went invisible. Ooh. Good sound effect as well. Right, you gonna... Ah! Swing and a miss. Come on. Are you supposed to be more invisible than this? Because it, it feels like... I don't know if this is true, but it feels like that was a graphical glitch that caused it to be more visible than it should have been. I suppose that was just a one-time thing. Did it actually learn? Did it learn that I could predict, predict the second strike? If so, good job. Unfortunately, fighting the strike to practice was uh, 
pretty good. Because I think this thing might have the... Or at least, if not the same, but very similar move sets to the Shrike. Alright, I have no idea what you're doing. But I'm not going to stop hitting you. Alright, is this the setup for a charge? No. Projectile. Oh, you dropped your stealth of it. Oh, okay. I was going to say, that was pretty quick. Okay. I suppose then it's only a uh, sometimes thing that the second charge comes. Might as well prepare for the case. Ah, nope. I'm just going to, uh... Take a little sip here at the, uh... Yeah. Just hit some heavy attacks, just in case. Right. Which arm still needs to be wounded? I will say one thing, this game has pretty immaculate enemy designs. Looks like I got a mini stagger. Just barely tagged me at the end. I was expecting a charge. I guess I'm not completely used to its animations yet. Alright, I'm on the last quarter of its health. I'm out of healing potions. There's still a couple uses left in the spring. Maybe one, two? All right, three. If I had to guess, I'm out, though. enemy has been unwounded for so long. <sighs> timing. Bad timing. just need to lay into it. It's... Oh. Alright. You're a very tough foe. Hmm? Uh, unfortunately, Sebastian is not by me right now. In fact, I fed him earlier as I went to get water. That's why it took me a little bit longer. Ooh. I'm a bit too low level to deal with any Aether Surges happening on this island. 
I think that's actually going to be my number one priority right now, is to um, get some artwork of Sebastian so that I can have him up on stream when he's actually nearby. But people don't waste their points on a pet Sebastian when he's not actually here. But rest assured, next time I see him, he will be pet. Or even next time he shows up here. Oh. Nice. I think I proposed that idea a couple of streams ago, at least. But I never actually went through with it. I'm not going to fight another Shrike. I want to fight a spore-struck Charog. That seems like an interesting enemy. Although I am also uh, very incredibly uh, out of dealing items. I don't know that that needed qualitatives attached to it. Also, Slayer's Path. All right. That's so far out of my league. I'll unlock it anyways, I suppose. Right. I suppose I can forage slightly better now. I feel like they've made this tree taller a lot faster than I can deal with it. I suppose that's what the battle passes are for, to make it easier. Alright. But I think I actually just have my core three weapons of hammer, pike, and fists. Those seem to be the uh, ones that I'm most comfortable with. Axe is a fourth, maybe. And then sword and then gun, and then whatever these ones are called. Chain blade. I haven't even touched those. Oh, you're not a spore-struck charog. Not even close. I think I actually just want to return to Ramsgate so that I can refill my potions. Ooh, because, um, good lord. That was a very tough fight. Very fun, but very tough. What was I saying? I was talking about corporate VTubers as well and how I find it strange that we don't interact with them at all. That's not necessarily true. There are some that we do interact with. Um, and by we, I mean the, uh, what is it? The popular independent VTubers. Like a lot of, a lot of people talk with Ollie. Uh, who is another Hololive VTuber, the one from Indonesia. It just feels kind of strange that there's almost no lantern components. There's almost no interaction between the two groups. Huh. There you are. Don't delay, Slayer. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not. I'm just bad at the game. It's fine. Okay. Uh, who's the armor smith? You are Moira. Oh, hey, Slayer. Oh, hey. I'm looking to get some bug armor. Oh, and I need to hunt that thing a lot more. I see. I like your style. All right, how about bug weapons? Always good to see you, friend. Can I make a bug spear? No. I need to hunt it even more. 
Oh no. I barely beat it this first time. I suppose I do actually... Oh no. I only had to kill it once for the quest. Well, I have to kill it more than once for the uh, crafting materials, so... Off I go- no! Cancel the airship. Oh. Yes. Sad times for me. Only sad times. What was the other thing that I had to fight? I don't remember now. I know Valamir was one of them, but uh... No thank you. Is it the Charak? I don't remember. It might have just been Nezaga. Yeah, that, that just seems to happen sometimes. I suppose trigger fire isn't perfect. But it only seems to happen the first time that that specific one is redeemed. I'm guessing that it's just, um... I'm, I'm no expert in coding or anything like that, but if I had to guess... I'd say it's probably something to do with the fact that it is a pathway that has not been accessed recently. So it gets all gunked up with static. I don't know. That's probably the least technical description of uh, data that's ever been spoken aloud. Alright, well, that thing's back. No, nothing to do with it. A clock. Thanks for the Omni Stone, friend. All right. And those are the sounds that a snail makes. Yeah. Alright, well, it's bug time. Oh. Alright, you blight on life itself. Time to fight. Gonna stand there and watch me bug. Oh. I wonder if I can actually cut off the tail. I doubt it. That would be quite the advantage. I'm just going to focus my attacks on the tail right now. Ignore the rest of its body. Just to see if that's possible. And Bush got in my way. just has such short startup times and so many false startups. I think that's what's messing me up so frequently. 
is the fact that it just has so many false starts. Okay, I'm stuck in between its... There we go. Okay, it looks like I've broken the tail any amount that I actually can. Because it wasn't popping up yellow numbers. Oh, okay. Is it just me or are you going down a lot easier? healing. Bad bug. Only I get to heal. Right. Not, not doing too much with your newfound invisibility. In fact, you're sort of just standing there. Almost like you thought I couldn't tell where you were. Oh. Yeah, you have a pretty nasty habit of uh, not being invisible, like at all. Oh. That was a lot of damage. I wonder if it... I'm not entirely sure what it's doing when it, uh... When it sort of sharpens its claws. Yeah, all of these enemies have had very interesting names. I wonder if there's any, um, in-universe etymology that describes why they're named the way that they are. Because that's typically the, uh, mark of a very well-realized world is when you can actually tell the etymology of something in a world that's made up. Um, I'm trying to think of examples. The obvious one is Lord of the Rings. Tolkien loves his etymology. A fun fact, actually. Uh, Tolkien... Oh. Uh, Tolkien actually wrote parts of the dictionary. He was a consultant to help write the dictionary. Or the dictionary um, during the time when he was alive, that is. So, like, the early 1900s. Yeah. Because he very famously, um, misspelled dwarfs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, dwarfs is actually spelled D-W-A-R-F-S, but he very famously spelled it dwarves with a V instead. Oh. I survived at two health. Uh, and he would get corrected about the spelling by his editors. Um, and when he was corrected by his editors, he would reply to them saying, I wrote the English dictionary. Don't correct me on how these words are spelled. Um, and the reason he spelled dwarves with a V instead of an S 
uh, as was the standard practice, was because elves is spelled with a V when pluralized. Uh, always. There was never an E-L-F-S. It was always E-L-V-E-S. Uh, and he wanted the two names to look good when written together. So he changed dwarfs from dwarfs into dwarves with a V. Uh, and that's just standard practice now. Thanks, Tolkien. Your crazy neuroses changed the way we pluralize dwarf. Right. I do want to fight a, a spore-struck charog at some point. But I haven't seen any. Yeah. Yeah, like, um... Mary is some, like, horrifying guttural name. Um... Canonically. Uh, and Tolkien just decided that uh, he would translate it to Mary because it was um... more palatable, I suppose. Alright, let's do one more bug hunt. So, amusingly, ooh, Tolkien did the one thing that anime fans hate, which is excessive amounts of localization. To the point where he even localized names. And that's why Mount Doom doesn't have a fancy name either, because... Uh, he thought the name would be too hard to pronounce, I think. Something like that. Because very famously, everywhere in Tolkien's world has extremely well thought out names. Right, very mystical sounding. And then you just have Mount Doom. The least creative name in the world. Uh, and it's because he thought that it was too hard to pronounce for humans. I, I mean, in in lore, he thought it was too difficult for humans to pronounce. Obviously, he didn't actually translate the Lord of the Rings books from already existing texts from Middle Earth. But, uh, you know, in universe. Alright, already enraged. Let's just fire off some warning shots. Oh, and miss. Well, warning shots are supposed to miss, so, uh... I'll just say I did that on purpose and leave it at that. Got it. Ooh. This vampirism is, uh, keeping me alive, that's for sure. But I need some more healing. Oh, am I running faster than normal? Oh. Oh, you caught up with me, so. Oh. Let's, let's just sit here and heal together, alright? No hard feelings. I remember I actually used to have a friend that was obsessed with you know, Tolkien and that style of literature. Is 
I've not been in contact with him for a while now, though. Well, stop preening. Oh yeah, the, the Cimmerillion. I don't believe that the Cimmerillion was meant to be read and enjoyed. It, it just seems like... Um, what is it? Tolkien's... Just absolutely insane ramblings because he wanted to write an entire world into existence. Oh! Alright. Well, at least I'm, uh... Not dead forever. Stop that. Get some help. seems like something that you should be able to knock him out of. Ooh. For the first time, I'm glad that actually knocked me back a little bit. Alright. See, I thought he was going to do that a bit earlier. Landing stuns is so satisfying in this game. Okay, cut that out. Oh, that was pretty close. Almost enraged again. Right. But I don't think... I can fight any more in this run, at the very least. So. Back. Cool. Back to Ramsgate. Hmm. I wonder if there's some maintenance that I could do on the trigger fire end. Um, so that it would stop making that buzzing buzzing noise right before it starts hmm. I suppose one of the easier fixes would be to um oh, there it is What was I going to say? Right. Um, edit those so that, um... There's a second or two of silence in the beginning of each of them. Um, because it's just playing the first sound over and over again. So if I have a second of silence, there won't be any buffering noise. Right. What do I need for another slot? Was that Slayer's Path P? No. N? There we go. Slayer's Path. Ooh. Middleman Vendor. Ah, I remember that. 
not interested. Here we go. New armor slot. Ah, so now I can have a dedicated earth style slot. Alright, inventory equipment. Oh, I should actually switch this one back to Mizaga. So that this one. Nope. Over. There we go. Where was it? Warpike. There it is. Kaherbrachacha Sting. So this will be used against a leaf, which means... Or against lightning? Yes, against lightning, which means I want lightning armor on. Uh, but I'm afraid that the best I can do is Drask. Which isn't very strong. And it makes me look like I'm from the Blue Lagoon. There's probably some way I could die this that I don't look quite so much like an Aquaman villain. Uh, I was specifically referencing an old uh, sort of movie, the, the Creature from the Blue Lagoon, or the Black Lagoon, I don't remember. Not a very good reference if I can't remember it myself. Right. Damage versus stagger, reduce stamina cost for dodging. Just put in all of my highest level power cells. Increase damage against staggered. Um... See, percent increase to stagger. Aetherborn cell. Um, restore health when wounding. And also restore more health when wounding if possible. Have any low level vampiric cells? No? Yes. Just the one. All right. Now that I have this terrible armor and this pretty good weapon, what am I fighting? Nezaga, okay. This shouldn't be too difficult. I already killed the Nezaga before, many years ago. When I played this game, when it came out. Right. I'll hunt the Nezaga at least once. If I can. Uh, and I'll try and go for a second hit. But, uh... No promises. Hmm. Asher's very cute looking monster. All right. Time to walk into hell. Even the music in this level is spooky. Theoretically, the Nezaga should be easier than the enemy that I just fought. Um, 
But I don't know that I believe that. Hmm. Secret path? No, no, that's not a secret path. It is very much just somewhere that I could have gone were I a smarter person. There we go. Okay, Nezaga. Oh, okay. Alright, I've got... little chakrams that are spinning around me. Also, already off to a very poor start. I'm, I'm fine with you just sort of sitting there. I can keep this up all day. I think I glitched it. Okay. That was fun while it lasted. I'm definitely not above taking advantage of this thing glitching out. I feel like I have enough of the opposite of whatever pride is to, uh do that. Oh. I think that's the, uh, strong one. Yep. Right, time to just absolutely lay into this thing. Okay. Couldn't quite get the attack off in time. Let's try a projectile. How do you like these? Pretty fine, apparently. Right. There we go. Bunk. Bunk. Oh, slightly maltimed, unfortunately. I'm actually all out of healing potions, aren't I? Alright. Not too much to worry about in that case. I still have the full vent. Movement with this weapon is just absolutely free. structure to destroy. I probably should have taken the uh, bonus ability to destroy structures. This feels like the game's actually quieter when I'm near this. I don't know why. Doesn't seem like there should be any reason. I think I have a, a pretty good chance of just killing it. Right, come on. 
me with a charge. You look angry enough. In the meantime... I don't want to deal with this. Bunk. Pop. Ooh. Ah, so close to getting another pop. Alright, you look tired. That's fine. I don't think I'm even going to need to destroy that one. I think you'll die first. Just like that. Ah. Alright. That's one Nezaga. Good and dead. Unfortunately, I didn't break barely any of his parts. So very limited rewards. if there's anything else to hunt. Oh, there's one more Nezaga. Alright, I'll be a bit more careful this time. Try not to get downed as much, but if I can defeat this Nezaga, that's one quest dealt with. Ow! Alright, remember what I said about being careful. Apparently I lied. Oh, Sebastian's here. Oh, you've come at the worst possible time, my friend. Uh. There we go, he's in his bed now. Oh. I will pet him as soon as I am safe. You have my assurance on that, Aaron. You know what? I already need Aether healing. Ooh. Hmm. The charge move he does just feels like it doesn't fit in with any of the rest of his kit. I never anticipate it. Ow. Shocked. What a shocking turn of events. I'll just fight around this. Ow. Alright, well. At least I have plenty of revives. That was also a very fortunate dodge that I just pulled off by firing my shot. Wound that face of yours. Okay. I need healing. Badly. Oh, hello. Are you going to do that again? Sure are. Thank you for being so predictable, Nezaga. But also, please don't be angry. I'm just doing my job. I suppose you're also just trying to stay alive.
Oh, I'm absolutely missed. Ah, mm, mm. Ah, mm, mm. Mm. Not happy about that series of events, I'll tell you what. Um, two stars. So not quite as difficult as the bug that I just fought, but, um, you know, not the easiest. What happens if I overcharge? Okay, it doesn't deal bonus damage. Okay. I have... I sort of hoped it would have gotten a bit closer by the time I did that. Please don't interrupt me. I'm just healing. Hmm. Two birds, one swing. Boom. Just unload. Uh, mm, mm. Not so sure about that one, Nezaga. You caught me with the very tip end of your tail. Uh. Alright, back up. Just gonna shoot him a bit more. dead yet? It should be. It'll be soon. This is the same setup that was happening last time. Ow. Alright, come on. Just go down, please. So close. I can tell. I can feel it in my bones. I'm also very worried that it's going to start running soon. It's already at 71%. Right. Do I have time? Do I have time? Just a little. Oh. Okay, there we go. See? I knew he was close to death. Huh. Alright. And that's one Nezaga. Or two. Two Nezagas. Alright. Back to Ramsgate then. Bum, bum. Hmm. Oh. That is the, uh, end of a very peaceful hunt. I suppose I can also go finish this. Who gave me that quest? Was it the lady up here? Let's see, I'll just finish this quest for now and then call it for the night. Get the rewards. Oh. Your timing is perfect. Brilliant work there, Slayer. The diametric opposition of those two particular elements, shock and terra, has catalyzed a cascade of useful data from your lantern. We're learning even more than I'd hoped. Okay. Speaking of which, tell the bosun. I'm already selecting your next targets. Make sure he keeps his eye on his lantern for incoming signals. That man never checks his messages. Right. Done and done. Farewell, Slayer. Ah. And now, 
I can pet Sebastian. Hello. He's grooming himself a bit, so... I'm afraid I have to... Interrupt his personal time. But he's purring quite a lot. Unfortunately, the microphone is too far away to be able to pick that up. And too immobile to be able to move it to him. You'll just have to take my word for it. Uh, but for now, that is going to be the end of stream for today. Let's see, I don't think I'll be doing any raids today. Population's a bit low for that. Um, but I do thank you for being here again, Aaron. And also Pyromancer, if you are still lurking. Uh, good to have you two around. But that is going to be it for me, if I can get back to slobs. Alright. Ah, good times, good times. But, uh, time to bid you all adieu. Au revoir.